SBFalcons.com. Here with Jordan Collars after a 4-2 victory over St. Martin's. Uh, Jordan, your thoughts on the win? Uh, I thought we played uh, pretty well. Um, thought we came out, looked good. Uh, it's always nice to score the first goal, and then I thought we kept pushing and played really well today. You scored that first goal on a free kick uh, right on the edge of the box, a little bit to the right. What did you see before you struck that ball? What were you aiming for? Uh, just aiming for the far post, I guess. Uh, the, just going to the keeper's side, it was pretty close and just hit it well. Now you hit it uh, straight on the line right inside that left post. Uh, were you surprised at all that the wall gave you that kind of angle? I mean, the keeper's kind of got to pick one spot of the goal to give up, and that's the spot that he decided he didn't want the ball to cover. Great. He hit the ball low. Um, obviously, it was effective for you. Is that the, that the idea, tougher for a keeper to get to a low ball? Uh, I think, I don't know, in the conditions today, when the ball's skipping, I always think it's hard when you hit it in front of him and it's bouncing around. Well, you were effective on free kicks. Another one of yours led to a goal uh, for teammate Jeffrey Collings. Uh, talk about what happened on that play. Uh, just Jeffrey was ready and beat his man to the ball, just rolled it in there and he finished it. He's a uh, senior defender, they don't get too many opportunities to score, that was his first collegiate goal. Uh, how did he say anything after or what did he have uh, I he? mean, he was, he was pretty excited, I think he's been trying for that one for a long time, so it's nice to see him finally get one. Okay. That was your team leading sixth assist and then uh, Jeffrey Collings uh, must have got the assist fever, he had two in this game as well. Um, just talk about his play today. Uh, I thought he was really good. Uh, He's swung some really good balls, and I think he has been doing it the whole year, but our forward showed up today and won a couple headers and got some assists. This team really has, has always had a lot of offensive talent and kind of was looking for a breakout game like this. Uh, what, how does it feel to put four on them? It always feels good. Uh, I think we've had games where we felt like we should have scored four goals quite a few times this season, so it's really nice when they're finally hitting the back of the net. This game was supposed to start at 7 o'clock, uh, instead went to 4.30, they were supposed to do some high winds uh, in the evening. At what point did you find out the game time change? Uh, I think it was around 10.30 or 11. How did that uh, impact your day? How did you adjust to that? Um, I mean, it changed the times that we were looking to eat because you're in your usual routine of having a pregame meal at a certain time, so that all got kind of shifted around but made it work. Well, this uh, keeps along a good string of uh, games here now for you. You've gone uh, after the opening loss in GNAC play at Simon Fraser. You're, you're now unbeaten. Um, how are you feeling now as you have a little bit of time off? You don't play again until next Thursday. Uh, I think we're sitting pretty good. Um, we obviously need to rest up a little bit, hopefully get some guys back next week, and then be sharp. Tough part of this is this ended a home stand for you. Now you're on the road for the next four games. What will be the key to success on the road? I think just everybody staying focused. It's always hard when you go on the road with classwork and all that kind of stuff. So just staying focused and doing our business. Great. Thanks so much. Congratulations. That great game. Thank you.